Okay, so the Internet of Things. Um, essentially, it is a network of interconnected devices that are embedded with software that are used to store and share data with other devices that it's connected with via the internet. So to what extent has the Internet of Things posed a security threat on individuals and businesses? Um, so a huge factor in IoT security is botnets and DDoS attacks. So a botnet is a device that can be used to steal data, um, information, and perform DDoS attacks. Um, DDoS attacks or distributed denial of service attacks um, are used as an attempt to dis uh, disrupt the normal function of a server by overwhelming it with um, a flood of internet traffic. And cyber criminals use botnets in order to perform these attacks. And um, these range from threatening electrical grids to transportation systems. Um, if you look at this little graph right here, um, what category of attacks has your organization experienced in the past year? As you can see, the top three um, are malware, ransomware, and DDoS and botnets are categorized in the malware and ransomware categories. So the top three things that businesses um, are experiencing attack-wise are those. So you can tell that they're pretty dangerous. Um, another huge thing is stolen data. Um, once a hacker gets into one IoT device, they have the ability to get into all of the other devices it's connected to. Um, these hackers, you know, get into systems and obtain sensitive information that if it were to get out would be very harmful to the businesses that had said information. Um, any IoT device has the potential to face this threat, even iPhones and smartwatches. Um, these hackers have the ability to shut down entire cities, cause major vehicular accidents. Um, and again, looking at this graph, top governance issues with the Internet of Things, the second, um, the top, the second thing is data privacy, or so data is easily taken advantage of. Um, so I don't know if prevention is the right word, honestly, because they, these attacks can't necessarily be prevented, but it's there are ways that they can be controlled or people can help prepare themselves for it. Um, simply just staying informed on these attacks and what they do, um, as well as infiltrating, you know, IoT safety measures into regular like security practices um, and then practicing them. Um, so if you look at these graphs here, it'll show how the number of IoT devices has increased over the years, and that number is expected to keep increasing. So as this number increases, um, the risk factor in attacks will increase along with it, um, leaving everyone that uses IoT and these businesses more vulnerable. Any questions? I do have two questions for you. So first up, let's let's look at your sources that you used. How do you know that they were valid and reliable? Um, well, at first, I had a few sources that were not reliable. Um, it was kind of hard to find sources that were um, pertaining to this question. But after like working with those sources, I realized that I needed more. Um, so I went and found. Um, some of the sources I used were like published like scientific journals and that were used at like con like speaking conventions and things like that. So that's how I know that they are um, reliable. All right. And if you had more time, what additional research would you do on this topic? Um, I would go more in depth and like the specific devices like as i mentioned 
in a previous slide, like smartwatches and iPhones are um, part of the IoT devices, but I'd really like to know more about like Alexa and like Google Home and how those play a role in it. Cause I know that a lot of people have like suspicions that like they're like being hacked through their Alexa and things like that. So I'd just like to know more about that. 